mesma coisa. O quê? Você não tá fazendo nada, eu tô fazendo tudo. I knew this thing was bigger than me, bigger than the Broncos, but I only had a glimpse of the whole picture, like looking in the mirror and for an instant seeing what everyone else sees. 
a bad caricature of a better man. Ufe, that deal at the favela was getting dirtier by the minute. Those bastards were clearly in bed with the crush of Prado. Now we just had to find out why. Starting with a bit of bedtime reading for Mr. De Silva. When you've lived the kind of life I've lived, reality comes at you through a different lens. But nothing could have prepared me for what was on the other side of that door. I had to get those poor bastards out of there. Get them out of here. Go. Go. Quick. I said get Serrano. Serrano. He looked pathetic. A man defeated. I walked away and left him to his own personal nightmare. Whatever hell this was De Silva had sent me into, I knew I had to put an end to it. I had no choice but to push on. I didn't understand everything, and I never would, but I understood enough. Sometimes a complicated problem is best tackled with a simple solution. Silva was no fool. I'd have driven on off into the sunset too if I were him. But I was in too far now. What the fuck is going on here? How, how much do you want? What have you been doing? I am a doctor. 
I help people. What have you been doing here? It's easy for you. Listen, I know people. They will kill you. I can help you. Trust me. Please, please. What have you been doing? I have a lot of money. Look, look. Lots of money. I do important research. Please. Caralho! <laughs> Caralho! Espera, espera. Eu posso explicar tudo. Tudinho! Não, não. Por favor. Pelo amor de Deus. Por favor, não me mata. Não, não. Pelo amor de Deus. E aí, Totô? <risos> For all Serrano owed me, he'd paid enough. For now, I had bigger debts to call in. Even I could guess what Demolisao meant. That building was condemned in more ways than one. fucking arsenal in here. It was time to bring this little hellhole to the ground, so I decided to put some of their C4 to good use. see something, but you can dull the effect. I had to hurry up before more of those assholes showed up. It was locked from the outside. seen some dark shit in my time, but this was something else. These vermin had gone into a place where life was cheap and found a way to get rich off it. I just wanted to finish this and get far away from here. But then, true to form, more of the rats came out of their holes. <laughs> At least my visitors have been kind enough to leave the gate open.
any time I'd bought, it had been going real cheap. If I was going to plant the rest of those explosives, I had to do it now. That was the last of the explosives. I just hoped it was enough to bring down the building. And all the evil in it. Vai, vai, rápido, rápido, vai! Who wants to take a shot? You see what this is? Come on, anybody? Wanna be a hero? I got nothing to lose, let's do it! Que porra que tá acontecendo aqui? Senor Neves. What the fuck is your problem, man? <laughs> my problem? My problem? Wanna know what my problem is? You're turning humans into glue! That's what my fucking problem is! I don't know what you're talking about, American. All I know is what I hear about you. You bodyguard for the Brancos. They are all dead. You help the poor. Today, many of them dead. You are a proper American hero. At least I fucking tried. Well done with your effort. The whole city is grateful. The great American savior of the poor. That's right. You think you made any difference? You think stopping this legitimate business venture is helping anyone? Legitimate? You're stealing people's organs. We pay for everything. We have the record. Oh, so people can sell their livers, their hearts, their eyeballs? You're insane, you sick fuck. We kept people safe in the city. Decent people. Safe. I know a lot of powerful people. Well, your powerful people aren't gonna help you out of this one, buddy. <laughs> 